Curriculum is much more than the boundaries of the academic subject taught traditionally. It includes totality of experience that a child receives through the numerous activities that go on in the school, classroom, library, laboratory, workshop, playground and in the manifold informal contacts between the teacher and pupils. It is perhaps best thought of a sum total of all deliberately planned set of activities which facilitate learning and are designed to implement specific educational aims. There are certain basic principles of curriculum planning which should form the basis for the construction of a good mathematics curriculum. While constructing curriculum in mathematics, we should include only those topics which are useful for a particular grade in many ways. In the first place, we should include those topics which are useful in our day-to-day -day life. As for example, the four fundamental operations, table percentage, profit and loss, areas, taxes, simpler nations of statistics, household accounts, graphs, etc. Utility of a topic should be viewed in a broader perspective that is utility in everyday life, in the study of other subject, in various vocations, in appreciating the part played by mathematics in development of civilization in its various aspects in commerce, trade, industry, engineering, physical and social sciences. The child is to live in and for the society. He must be able to do well in the society. So we should include those topics of mathematics which latter to the needs, aspirations and ideas of the community. So curriculum must be shaped for the needs and welfare of the local community. The aims of education and the aims of teaching mathematics to on changing. These aims depend upon the overcleaning society. Also the development and research in the subject necessitate changes in the curriculum. So we cannot follow a rigid curriculum for all times. This has to be modified and revised from time to time. Mathematics is a vast subject. There are so many things which are useful to the students. We are likely to be over ambitious. While deciding upon useful content, we must not forget the children for whom that is meant. We should remember that curriculum is for the child and not the child for the curriculum. Child's interest, abilities, age level should be kept in mind. The duration of the course is another factor to be attended to. Moreover, there are individual differences in children. The same type of content may not be desirable for all. So, there should be a provision in the syllabus for various categories of students. Mere theoretical knowledge without its practical application is a useless burden where practical knowledge without the support of essential theory is dangerous. Therefore, in any scheme of studies, it is essential to have a proper integration of theory and practice. Mathematics curriculum in this sense requires the topic, contents, experiences and activities in such a way that we may have enough opportunities of integrating theory with practice. Curriculum construction needs the help and guidance of those persons whose interests are to be served by a particular curriculum. It is a sad commentary on the part of curriculum construction is that it is always said by the persons who are least in touch with what is happening in our schools. The persons sitting in the air-conditioned room neither realize the need and requirements of our children and community nor anticipate the difficulties of the teachers. Therefore, in any curriculum committee, teachers should have a fair representation. Curriculum should help in preserving and transmitting our cultural traditions. Curriculum should contain such activities that help in preserving and spreading the culture of our nation. We know that mathematics is a subject which disciplines the mind. In the past, this was the sole criteria to select the subject matter. This brought into syllabus much useless material. The pupil used to study certain puzzles and riddles which had no particular utility. For disciplining the mind, one topic is as good as another. Unless and until a topic has some other values, it should not be included in the curriculum merely for its disciplinary value. 
reading useful problems train the mind better than unreal formal problems moreover mental training depends upon the method of teaching while organizing the content in mathematics we should arrange the topic in such a way that correlation of the subject is possible correlation can be of the following types that is correlation with life correlation with other subject correlation among the branches of some subject correlation among the topic of the same branch correlation with craft or work experience in order to correlate teaching of the subject we must know day to day life activities the nature of topics included in the other subject at the same stage the topics included in different branches of the subjects that is arithmetic algebra geometry etc the requirements of the topics of the same branch of the subject the nature of work experience or projects undertaken by the students we should trace the curriculum according to the latest developments of the subjects and in accordance with the modern world for this purpose the views of the subject specialist should be sought thus we see that while constructing curriculum for a grade a number of considerations are to be kept in mind utility should provide the chief criteria of curriculum construction the needs of community the needs of students and above all the views of the teachers should be given due importance in any program of curriculum construction in mathematics now try this